future is bright! Hey, Mr. Minstrel! Will you please tell me one of your stories? I shall tell you a tale of a war fought many, many years ago. A tale of Avalon and the Varenne Empire, and the succession of emperors that led it into prosperity. Spirits, lend me your voices, that this tale might inspire all to greater heights. The stage is set during the time of good Emperor Leon. In those days of Eld, Avalon was a nation of little note. Conflict had spread throughout the land, like fire through dense brush. Leon knew that quenching its flames was key to unifying the people under one banner. Under his roof, he cared for two sons, the courageous Victor and the kind-hearted Gerard. One fine spring day, Emperor Leon took Gerard out on a foray to call the fiends lurking in a cave. This cave has caused our people to suffer for far too long. We must eradicate the foul creatures within and seal it off. Understood, Father. We are to reconvene with the Vanguard unit. On the way, I shall teach you the basics of combat. However, this is no training exercise. You must be prepared both mentally and physically. I shall do my best to see that I am. My father's example.
Your Grace. Perhaps you should rest. It could not have been easy to get here. No. We have not a moment to waste. But Your Majesty, there are many dangerous foes lurking within these walls. No need for concern. Gerard must learn to fend for himself eventually. I am more than aware of the perils we face. Are you ready, Gerard? We will engage the enemy with the Imperial Cross Formation. I shall take up position in the center, while Bear will protect us from the front. James and Therese shall occupy the flanks. Finally, you shall remain in the back. The safest position for someone as green as you. Focus on offense. Let's move out! Sir! But to fight! Yeah. Let's go!
do in this situation? Here goes nothing! It's over! Watch and learn, Gerard. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Just splendid! Glory to the Empire! My turn. Excellent. That appears to be the last of them. It shall take two full turns of the clock for the mages to weave their spell and seal the cavern. Once that is complete, those fields will never bother us again. Now, let us away. The people anticipate your return. country and a brave emperor to lead them. As such, they expect great things of victory, and one day you. So it would seem, Father. I shan't betray their trust. I vow to protect the people of Varen with my very life.
I am pleased you have returned safely. Gerard, I trust you are unhurt? That I am, brother. Though it has taken longer than expected, I am no longer a hindrance in battle. Gerard is much better suited to focusing on his studies than setting foot on the battlefield. Perhaps you should refrain from taking him with you on your campaigns? As the eldest, I feel the battles are best left to me. I understand your position, but fear that the return of the Seven Heroes gives us little leeway in the matter. The Hounds of War howl louder with each passing day, and as long as they do, chaos shall plague our lands. With threats facing us on all sides, we cannot afford to have Gerard shirk his martial training in favor of his letters. Perhaps, but I feel the Empire also requires capable strategists if it is to truly thrive. I can think of none more suited to that task than he. My lord, a woman by the name of Oryev requests an audience with you. Her again. She is persistent. I will give her that. Very well. Show her in. It is an honor to finally meet you, Emperor of Avalon. I must say, this is quite a surprise. I had expected a Ceres to be a touch more... wizened. Victor? Gerard? Leave us for now. Today is that woman's lucky day. It is obvious that Father was looking for an excuse that he could use to cut our conversation short. Remember that reading up on combat theory is no substitute for actual experience. I will, brother. Lord Gerard, perhaps you should take up archery. A volley from afar can end a battle before it starts. Archery? I would snap the bowstring simply by knocking the arrow. Oh, nothing a touch of practice can't fix. With my... I think you put too much faith in my ability. Pay him no mind, Lord Gerard. Focusing on a weapon for which you feel more affinity will surely lead to greater results. Use weapons you're comfortable with to get that glimmer... Very true. Perhaps I should simply- Nonsense! Emperor Leon's noble blood courses through you- Gerard, how have your studies been progressing of late? Not very well, I'm afraid. I have been accompanying my father on his expeditions, which leaves little time for learning. Yes, you have gone on a good many forays of late. Hmm, perhaps you would be more suited to spell over sword? It may take some practice, but I assure you the juice is worth the squeeze. Unfortunately, I still don't know any spells. That simply won't do. Magic can often strike true in situations in which simple physical armaments prove less effective. Allow me to start you on the path with the most elementary of pyrology arts. Fireball.
I see you have returned, Lord Gerard. Has hunting fiends with his majesty honed your skill with the blade? Not exactly. I fear I am not meant to wield a blade. Try to think of it this way, young master. You need but find which role best suits you out on the battlefield. I'm afraid the knowledge I have gleaned from books does not apply on the battlefield. I personally am neither nimble nor fleet of foot, as anyone can likely tell from a glance. Instead, I focus on becoming a veritable iron wall. By standing my ground and never retreating, I can protect everyone else from danger. Therefore, please do not lose heart. There is a role out there that suits you, for certain. You will indeed have to put in the work first, but eventually it will come to you. I look forward to seeing you grow into the man I know you can be. It is kind of you to say so. Gerard, I fear for your safety. You may be skilled in letters, but you can hardly be considered ready for the battle to come. I appreciate your concern. However, I must do what I can to carry on my family's legacy. In that case, you should try honing your skills with different weapons, for they are the key to combat. An untrained hand cannot hope to bring the full might of their armaments to bear. A practiced one, however, will undoubtedly make you a force to be reckoned with. Thank you. I shall do my best. Feel free to ask me anything. I shall assist you in whatever manner you require, no matter how trivial it may seem. My heart nearly stopped when I learned you had gone with your father to the caverns. Did you suffer any wounds? Nary a scratch. We cannot count on that always happening, though. Do not shirk your swordsmanship lessons, or you may not be so lucky next time. If ever your retinue were to fall in battle, you must have a means of protecting yourself. If it comes to that point, I'm afraid we may have already lost. Or I can never hope to match your prowess. An army is only as strong as its weakest link. And should I be forced to keep constant watch over you, we will surely be bested at some point. Uh, understood. I shall do my best to not hamstring the troops. I believe that everyone has their rightful place. And yours would be in the library, not on the battlefield. Oh, I see. With all due respect, Lord Gerard, you need to hear this. While we mercenaries will fight tooth and nail for whomever we are contracted with, we will not sign a contract with simply anyone. We only work with people whose orders are backed by strength. Should our patron prove to be nothing more than a paper tiger, we will not hesitate to serve someone else. Okay, I shall keep that in mind.
have a long road ahead of me. If I may, Father, what exactly did that woman wish to discuss? How someone named Kazinsi in Salmon is not to be trusted. Though Kazinsi may be one of the seven heroes, I do not see him being an immediate threat. Still, it would behoove us to remain vigilant. Between that woman's warning and the legend of the seven heroes, I know not which to believe. The truth, however, will reveal itself eventually. All that we can do now is work to ensure peace for the Empire. Then where shall we head next, Father? To the east. There are watchmen causing trouble in the area. If we do not deal with this threat soon, it is only a matter of time before Avalon is attacked. Victor, I leave the castle in your hands, as you wish, Father. Fare thee well, Gerard. The nation would mourn greatly if you were to fall in battle. Your fears are unfounded, brother. I shall see you again soon. Time to 
Advantage here. I'll handle this. Leave everything to me. Not today. Okay. 
time to act. Great! Well done, everyone! Heavens. I shall have my men take care of stragglers in whatever remains of the nest. That should keep our lands free of fiends for the time being. At any rate, I suggest we return to the castle. Victor is probably biting his nails as we speak. He is prone to worry. Well then, let us make haste so he may put his mind at ease.
Warm up at once! Do great! Leave everything to me! What is going on? No. Is that... Victor! Brother! My son, are you okay? What happened here? Father... <laughs> My flowing slash found its mark. And yet... Victor! This can't be happening! Oh. My beloved child, please, you must open your eyes. Stay with us, Victor. Victor. Don't go. Report, soldier. Who dare lay a finger on my heir? Stand, so shall I! Let's see how you like the taste of steel! <sighs> okay then, how about this? Like the wind! You certainly have courage. But not the experience to match! Just hold on a little more. From my sacrifice, may Avalon live on! <laughs> Tell me, are you absolutely certain he claimed to be Kazinsi from Salmon? Yes. Then you are to search this city for a seeress named Oriev. Once you find her, Tell her I request her presence. Yes, my lord. Kazetsi, you have paid me your crimes. As for Kazinsi? That cannot be. Then how did he? An ancient technique. Inherit your abilities. Inherit? Then Gerard? No, no, no. No, I... I don't believe it. You can't die. You just can't. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's your father, Gerard. What would Victor think if he saw you sobbing in your room like this? We can grieve once your brother has been avenged. Are you with me? Yes. I'm ready, father. Yeah! <laughs> 
Yeah, hut, hut. 